Hi everybody, I've got an HD camera the other day and I thought maybe I'd test it out, but I haven't been able to come up with any good ideas for videos and I haven't really been anywhere for a while that's worth videoing. Uh, maybe over this weekend, I'm not so sure, but we'll see. Anyway, I thought I'd give it a try and thought maybe what I could do is just, uh, I'll show you how to make a margarita, at least the way I make a margarita, so if it's not the right way and uh, you're a bartender or you know how to do this and I'm doing it wrong, feel free to correct me, but you know, I don't I'm not so sure there is a wrong way to do it as long as you've got the right ingredients and you get them, you know, in a way that it tastes good to you. Uh, is there a wrong way to do it? If there is, you can let me know. Anyway, what we got here, tequila. This is the most important thing. You gotta have some good tequila. This actually is Cabo Wabo tequila. This is Sammy Hagar's brand. This is Contro because we're not going to use a mixer. This is just this, uh, another liquor we're going to use. It's kind of an orange flavored liquor. And uh, got a shaker, got a glass, got limes. This is one of the most important things. These two things right here are probably the most important ingredients. A fresh lime and good tequila. If you don't have either one of these, you can't make a margarita. And in addition to the control, instead of using a mixer, I'm also going to add a little bit of sweetener. And this is actually made from agave as well, which is the same thing that they make tequila from. In addition to that, we got some margarita salt. All right, so let's get to it, and I'll show you how to do this the right way, or at least my, I shouldn't say the right way, because I don't know that it is the right way, but it's the way I do it. Okay, I had a bit of a screw up just then, and I didn't do the right thing. Like I said, this is a new camera, and I didn't quite do uh, something that I should have done. I didn't do it right, and so I just missed getting a little bit of something on video that I should have, uh, that I really wanted to show you. But I'm going to show you with this lime, because it was about the lime, which is one of the most important things. But what I'm going to show you, um, most of it probably wasn't all that interesting because it's just me squeezing the juice out of a lime. But the one thing I wanted to show you before I squeezed the juice out of that lime is I took the lime and I rolled it. Now I'm not going to roll this one because I don't want to do anything with it just yet. But I rolled this and I, gave, I put some pressure on that when I rolled it. And that got the juices started inside that lime. So that when I then took it, and uh, it's too bad I didn't get this because you could have seen I, I, it was it's beautiful. Here's a slice. You can see that I did it right. But I, I took a slice out of the center of the lime to use as a garnish when I'm all done. And uh, the other two halves of the lime that were left over, uh, here's one of them and here's the other one. You can see I actually did get the juice out of it. I uh, just squeezed the juice out of that. But the main thing I want to show you that I missed because I didn't use the camera correctly was that I rolled that to get things started before I cut the lime in half and started squeezing the juice out. Okay, so now unfortunately I, I pulled the shot back again so that I'm back on the camera. Um, it's unfortunate for me. I don't know how you feel about it. You don't have to tell me if you don't want. Uh, you know, this hat, you probably wonder why am I wearing a stupid hat? Well, I got this hat down in Kansas City. This is a hat I've been wanting to buy for a while and that's because I, I a long time ago I had a nice hat to do with Blues Brothers and First Nation. I posted a video a long, long time ago, which I've since taken down and have lost. And so don't ask me to post it again because I don't know where it went, that I was doing my Elwood Blues impersonation. Well, that hat, um, it barely fit. It had somehow, the truth is it actually shrunk because the circumference of your head doesn't change that much over time. And I haven't put on a whole lot of weight since I did that video. But the hat never fit right, and it, it used to fit when I was younger, it doesn't fit now. The hat shrunk, it needs to be restored, it needs to be fixed up, it needs to be re-dyed because it's kind of faded in, in, in the band and a couple other places. But So I got this one down in Kansas City to be my new Blues Brothers hat. That's why I got a hat. Um, and I like the hat, and I don't get to wear it that often, so I'm wearing it in the video. Alright, so uh, I've got the lemon, got the lime juice, it's not lemon juice, I've got the lime juice in the shaker. And to that, uh, what I was going to explain to you before, what I wanted to do, and I don't know if I got this on camera or not because uh, there was a mix up with the camera. If I didn't just get it, the shot that I just did, I'm going to tell you again what I was trying to go for is get enough, uh, enough lime juice out of that to be about half a shot glass of this. I did not measure it because I don't really care, but I'm pretty sure it's about, yeah, it's about right. So, and the reason why I want to do that is because I know just about how much it's going to take to fill this glass. And... Uh, the ratio here is we're going to take, for the amount of lime juice we have, we're going to double that in, in the control. So if I have about a half of this shot of lime, I'm going to do a full shot of control, not counting what I just spilled. I'm going to put that right in the, into the shaker. 
Now the other thing that we're going to do, is we're going to double the amount of control, with tequila. So we're going to take two shots of tequila. There's one, and there's two. So two shots of tequila. Cork that, and add some ice. I'm going to add the one I just threw across the counter and a little bit of sweetener. Now this is the agave sweetener I mentioned before. This is because we want it to be a little bit sweet. I didn't add very much of that. Don't ask me how much because I don't measure. But uh, just a little bit of that. I'm going to put the top on the shaker. And I'm going to shake that up. We want everything mixed up really well. I want it nice and cold. That's probably good enough. Now the next thing, uh, salt. I think there's a right way and a wrong way to do the salt. Most people put it all the way around the rim. I don't like it all the way around the rim. I want to do about half the rim. Because salt's not all that good for you, but it is pretty good with your margarita. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lime, and I'm going to put about half of the rim, a little lime juice on that, and we're going to dip it in the margarita salt. Okay, so that's, a, that's actually green margarita salt, so it gives it a nice color. So there's that, and I'm going to give that one more shake just for good measure. Take the top off this thing. And I'm going to strain that. It's one thing I think about ice. It's good in uh, water, it's good in tea. That's so good in a cocktail in my opinion. So, we'll strain that out. Look at that, that's just exactly what I was talking about with the amount of ingredients and the ratio that I was going for. Exactly what I needed for that glass. So there it is. That is the margarita. That's how I do it. If you don't like it that way, if you think there's a better way to do it and you want to let me know, go ahead and do so. I'm open to suggestions, criticisms, whatever. Cut that lime in half that I saved from before and we'll garnish that. There it is. That's the margarita the way I do it. Hope you like it. And uh, cheers. Mmm, yeah, that's it. That's good stuff. Take care. And uh, this is some. Uh, Contro, because we're not going to use a mixer. You can also use um, uh, I'm having a hard time thinking. <laughs> Some of Sammy Hager's Cabo Waba tequila, and this this here is uh, it's a dramatic pause. <laughs> Sticks just a little bit, so I don't want to screw it up here. I probably put it on too far. I might have to edit some of this out because I can't get the top. <laughs> Bloopers! Put that in the blooper reel. Idiot put the top on the shaker so hard I couldn't get it off. <laughs>